We've never been in a situation like this before. It's the first time any of us have been faced by a pandemic. We had no idea what the impacts would be on children and young people's mental health. The Coast Base Study is an online survey that's been tracking children and young people's mental health throughout the pandemic and it's led by myself and my colleague Polly Waite from the University of Oxford. The main findings from Coast Base are that there's been a lot of fluctuation in the mental health symptoms of children and young people throughout the pandemic but the pattern has been very different for different children and young people. So we found particular changes when there have been restrictions for younger children but we've also found that particular groups such as families living on low incomes, children with special educational needs have had really elevated symptoms throughout the whole pandemic. And through Co-Space, we've been really trying to understand who those children are uh, so we can work out what they need. Co-Space has been funded by UKRI and also the Westminster Foundation. Getting the additional support allowed us to really hit the ground running. It allowed us to build our team so that we could be very responsive to quests we got from policymakers to be able to provide data very, very quickly in response to their needs. The Coast Base study itself is really about tracking children and young people's mental health, but that's led us to be able to do other initiatives which are very much focused on trying to help children with the difficulties that they've faced. And so the COCAT study, which is focused on child anxiety, the Sparkle study is focused on managing difficult child behaviours, and the CoRay study, which is focused on teen mental health, are all initiatives that are directly building on our Coast Base findings to help children and young people. I really hope the fact that we've done the Coast Base study will mean that if we're faced with another pandemic, we go into it knowing much more about how children and young people's mental health may be affected and can be prepared for that from the start. But I also hope we'll have wider impacts outside of the pandemic context from the other initiatives that we've done, where we've learned a huge amount about how to increase access to effective psychological treatments for children and young people.